All right, here's a quick tool tip for you. If you don't have one of these in your car, you should really get one. I'd highly suggest it. And that is a floor pump. So I got this Bell floor pump for my car. It has a, um, a gauge on there, which is really handy. And you can uh, use both, or you can pump up both types of bicycle tires with this. And this one is a 650. So that's 600 cu 650 cubic centimeters. And that's the volume of this tube. And uh, this one is rated for a maximum PSI of 100 pounds per square inch. So uh, that this will work for car tires because car tires are usually a maximum of 40, 45 pounds per square inch. So you don't have to get them up um, to that high of a pressure. Uh, so this is really handy to have. And a good reason to have this is because you never know when you're gonna have a flat. You never know when you need to uh, pump up somebody else's tire. And the pump at a lot of gas stations that I go to is usually broken. So this is a great thing to have in your vehicle. Uh, just throw it in there and you'll just forget about it until you need it. And on top of that, uh, you can use it with your spare tire in case your spare tire gets a little low. Uh, you probably won't know that until you actually have to change the tire. So it's just good to have this pump in there. The compressors that you plug into your car's electricity are great and they're a lot faster than a uh, floor pump like this one. This one's actually quite a bit of work. But anytime there's electronics or electricity involved, uh, that's just more things that could fail. So I prefer this analog uh, type of pumping. And to me, that's a lot more reliable. So if you like this pump, there's a link in the description below. You can get it there. Um, otherwise, just do your own research. Uh, see what works for you. If you're going to get a manual floor pump like this, look for the PSI, the maximum PSI, so that you're sure that it can pump up car tires. And uh, make sure there's quite a bit of volume in that tube. I've seen some pumps that are like a thousand cubic centimeters, uh, but some of them are a lot less. So if it's a lot less, you're gonna have to pump more often, which is gonna be more work. Uh, however, these bigger tubes can, be, can provide more resistance. So it might be harder to pump it, although you have to pump it fewer times compared to the smaller, uh, smaller tubes. So just be aware of that and uh, maybe you might want to try out one or two before you actually buy one. This is something that a lot of people probably don't think of. It's kind of like having jumper cables in your trunk. You might not think about it until you actually need it, but I highly recommend getting a pump like this or something else that you think will work for you. If you found this video useful, the best way to support this channel is to share this video with someone who you think will benefit from this information. Hit the subscribe button and the bell to get future updates on videos and check out the videos that are coming up next.